Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as of this video coming out, I will have been recording videos for two years. So to celebrate, I'm trying a new kind of video today. But before we get into that, I do want to thank my subscribers and my viewers. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so thanks. Also, if you want Google Sheets for all my teamwork bills, you can check out the link in the description below for my Patreon page. Anyway, here's five teamwork tips that all good alchemists know in Pathfinder 2e. Number one, familiar. Let's be honest here, base alchemists don't have great action economy. With most alchemical items, you need to pull out what you want and then use it, taking two actions. I mean, sure, you can take Quick Bomber, but that only works on, well, bombs. But there is a better option. Enter Alchemical Familiar. Familiars get two abilities per day base. Valet lets our familiar hand us items of like bulk or less using one or both of its actions. And if we spend an action commanding it, it can hand us two items. This makes our action economy much better, and we can help our team much more than we could otherwise. Number two, poisons. For most classes, making your own poisons simply isn't good. Once you reach a certain point, lower level poisons become completely useless, as their DC is just too low. The enemies will succeed on their saving throw almost every time. It's a shame too because the lower level poisons are usually the ones that inflict conditions, which can be very effective in combat. However, there is one way around this. Meet the Toxicologist Alchemist. Toxicologist Alchemists can use their class DC for all their poisons. So those low level poisons that inflict conditions are now much more viable. Plus, Toxicologist Alchemist can poison their weapon for one action instead of the two actions it normally takes. So if you're a Toxicologist Alchemist, pick up those poisons. Otherwise, you're better off picking other items. Number three, handouts. Remember that Alchemists are a support class through and through. Most of the alchemical items you're making, you're going to want to be handing out to other party members before combat even begins. Imagine giving your alchemist bombs to the fighter in your party. Not only have you given him an elemental ranged option, but he's going to hit and crit a lot more often than you, especially if he's a thrown weapon fighter. Give those elixirs of life to your party members so that they can heal when they need to instead of having to wait for the cleric's turn. Mutagens can make the party even better at what they're already good at. Make the ranger even better with that longbow, with a Quicksilver Mutagen. Make that champion even tankier with a Juggernaut Mutagen. Give that bard a Silver Tongue Mutagen to make him even better in social situations. And then we've got Poisons. Give the rogue poisons that go off your class DC instead of the normal DC. Let him do even more damage with his sneak attack. Especially if he's got Poison Weapon or Improved Poison Weapon. Number 4. Versatility. Doing what your character's subclass is built around is good. So you would think that only taking items based on your subclass would be good, right? What makes alchemists so good is their versatility. Yes, if you're specialized in bombs, you should definitely take some bombs. But you should take some mutagens and some elixirs of life to take advantage of the alchemist's versatility. And if you think you can only deal fire damage with bombs, you're wrong. Bottled lightning, frost vials, and acid flasks are all considered bombs. There's even dread ampules, which frighten creatures on hit. Bomber alchemists have a lot more options than just fire damage. They can hit just about every elemental weakness in the entire game, including negative and positive damage. Alchemists are a lot more versatile than new players think. Number 5. Recall Knowledge What's better than knowing an enemy's weakness? How about knowing their weakness and then hitting them with their weakness in the same turn? Like I said before, alchemists can hit just about every elemental weakness in the game. And it gets even better when you tell your party. Facing a troll and got a druid in the party? Now that druid can hit him with produced flame, and you can throw a bottle of lightning at it to make it even easier for him to hit. Toxicologist alchemists? You can find out what their lowest save is. 
There are a few poisons in this game that go off will saves and not fortitude saves. So if their will save is low, hit them with those. There are many other options, and knowing anything about the creature's stat block is only going to help. Plus, remember that familiar that we got at level 1? Well, if we archetype into Witch, we can use that familiar even more. Archetyping into Witch will eventually get us more familiar abilities, which will allow us to take the Skilled and Second Opinion familiar abilities. Skilled gives our familiar training in one skill of our choice. And we want to give it training in one of the wisdom-based recall knowledge skills. That's either going to be religion or nature. Then the second opinion familiar ability allows our familiar to aid us in any one recall knowledge check that it's trained in. And the best part is it automatically succeeds. Plus if we're a master in this skill, then it automatically critically succeeds. This will give us a plus one or a plus two to our recall knowledge check. That may not seem like much, but a plus one or a plus two can be huge especially if we have low wisdom. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this new type of video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Pathfinder 2e teamwork content. And until next time, remember, teamwork is vital.